Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Markiplier related video and it's another distractible animation and it's from the wonderful Sir Walter Underbridge. The one who made the two, you know, animations based off Bob's Fridge and there's a third part, you know, waiting in the wings right now. But he did recently comment on my reaction to part two that he was, you know... You know, it might take a little while, but he decided to do another animation based on Distractable first before he would finish part three. And that one was from a story from an episode I, I have actually not listened to yet, but it's from Pet Stories and about the robot vacuum. And this is part one of that story. So I wonder what this entails. I'm curious. So I might as well just get right into this. So without for the a uh, duh. Let's react to this video, shall we? Good evening, gentlemen. Gentle listener. And welcome to, to Distractable. With your host, Ma, Bob and Wade. This week, Pet Stories. Uh, this is the day the Roomba died. I got Chica when she was about eight months old. She was just super cute. Aww. Lovable, bubbly, really attentive, would look in your eyes and just stare Chica. at you. Chica, 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 Chica. So I don't know how much of a conclusion you can draw from that. <laughs> quirks too. I feel like every dog has like those one or two quirks that you're just like, huh, how did I roll the dice and get this? Yeah. <laughs> Chica stare is good though. She'll stare in your eyes for a long time and she'll pant while she mm -hmm. does it and it's really, really adorable and also kind of concerning in some way. Yeah. <laughs> we were planning the tour and I was wearing a watch that was reflecting sunlight onto the brick wall and she spent like 20 minutes trying to eat the brick wall and I had no idea why for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> she loves, she loves lights. Oh my she's god. She's adorable, right? She's a perfect dog in every Aww, way. Except Chica. That, Chica. Uh, she wasn't potty trained, right? So oh boy. One particular day, I was oh out no. for many hours, um, and I get back late afternoon. No one else is there. I open the door. Actually, before I even open the door, I notice that something is very wrong. Because there is an odor emanating from the door. It's the smell of food. Mm. And I'm thinking, oh no. Chica must have shat near the door. I better be careful opening it. I don't want to smear it all over the floor. What an ironic thought. Because the moment I open the door, a wave of smell punches me in the face. It is the most barbarically horrible odor of pure shit stabbing into my nostrils. <laughs> and I think, holy crap, how could this possibly no be? No pun intended. And my eyes are kind of stinging from the odor. And through my blinking tears, I notice that there's... A a new texture to the wood grain on the floor. And I'm like, oh, I don't remember there being such a stain to that wood. Upgrade. An upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this is true because my brain couldn't possibly fathom what I saw. Why does he and look like Lord, Lord Farquaad with that hair? Strange, I look long enough to realize that's not the wood. Somehow, someone has paintbrushed <laughs> over every it's more stash. inch of the floor. And when I say every square inch, I mean every square inch of the floor in a perfect lawnmower, like pristine lawn, alternating this lines. This is a big floor, too. This is a good size floor. Big floor. It's like a kitchen, living room, dining room, Kubo yeah. area. Open right? floor. I'm remembering the, where this was. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh my it's god. A big area. And I, I stare at this, and my brain just can't process it's it. It's still a nope. So <laughs> There's a lot. Everywhere. Oh my god. And thankfully, the one area where there wasn't poop was the landing from the front door. And there's like a balcony dividing it and like two steps going down to the main living room that's the open area. And I look over the railing and I'm just surveying it, you know, like... Uh, You're like, oh my up, god, just, I have to literally <laughs> clean this shit up. tracing this path all the way to the left and I find the culprit in the corner and it's not Chica. You may think that Chica would be sitting ashamed. No. Aww. Chica was actually wagging her tail next to me, ready to greet me, all happy and bubbly and looking at me with a smile on her face. In the corner was a Roomba that was tangled up in fur, smeared in poop, and somehow upside down. And that's the biggest mystery to me. That That is the biggest mystery to me. like, I'm going to be in so much trouble for this, and just, like, takes it out. <laughs> <laughs> that is an option. That is an option. 
production, uh, but Chica was suspiciously clean, you know, she wasn't smeared in anything, so I don't think that she was involved, because I would have seen paw prints of her walking through it all, oh, right? That's and true. I, true. I mean, and I know how pristine it was, because I had to clean this up. So we had a Roomba, and if you don't know what a Roomba is, it's a robotic vacuum that automatically cleans your floor. And what Chica had done is she pooped as far out from the living room as she could, but she pooped right next to the Roomba dock because it automatically goes back. And while I was away, it decided that now was the best time to clean it. And it just rolled over that first poop patch and it carried it the entire way through its Oh entire my time. God. Cleaning, quote unquote. Well, and those Roombas are meticulous. They get every <laughs> single square inch of uh, floor so that you know you're confident you've got a clean floor. Yeah. You don't want to miss a spot. <laughs> <laughs> I can attest to a Roomba's thoroughness, and I can't believe that it waited until it got every square inch before <laughs> dying. Like, it really wanted to make sure its last job was done right. Oh my god. That was good. <clears throat> oh shit. Oh man, that was good. That was a good animation though. But man, I haven't heard that story, so I guess this is around the time when he was still in, you know in, you know, it when he was still living in his house in LA at the time. You know, when he had, you know, that pool, the back pool, and, you know, that, you know, cool view of the city, the skyline of L.A. And it was around the time when he had, you know, pinkish blue hair at the time, I think, too. Because that was when he had, when he just got Chica. When she, when he had, you know, pink, and then he got the blue hair. That had to be the time frame of when that took place. So he had a Roomba, which is, I guess, a, a robot vacuum cleaner. That just does these clean cycles. And I guess at some point, according to him, I guess Chica decided to take a shit right in front of the thing where, you know, it docks. And then when it decided to go, okay, let's clean, it took it and literally went all around the living room, essentially. Oh, that had to be a bitch to clean. I cannot imagine how much of a fucking bitch that had to be. I'm pretty sure, number one, you probably have to throw that fucking Roomba away and be like, okay, no more Roombas. I'm pretty sure that's what Mark said. No more Roombas. Oh, man. But my God, that, that was pretty funny at times, you know. Chica had to take it out. <laughs> but yeah, it, it obviously was Chica, but you know... Who else would have done that? Like, who else was there? Was another thing, too, that I might suspect. It might have been, you know, maybe, you know, Matt and Ryan's dog, Lego. Because they were together. They were in the same... They were living together, too. You know, Matt and Ryan was with Mark at the time. Maybe. I have no idea. Because I think they left around the summer of 2016. So I have no idea. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe he decided to leave them out because whatever. Pretty weird, but a uh, uh, weird detail, but that's something I noticed too. But it might have been Lego, but it might be, maybe it was because it might probably might have been when they didn't, maybe they didn't have the dog yet at the time or they, you know, Lego wasn't there. Matt and Ryan left at the time. I have no idea. So who knows. But uh, anyways, I think overall, I enjoyed that animation. Sir Walter on the bridge. I loved his art style. It's like a very, you know, Wallace and Grom Gromit kind of style. A claymation kind of style. I kind of love that. I think Bob mentioned it in, you know, one episode where they shouted him out. Uh, it kind of looked like claymation. So that was kind of cool. I like that. But hopefully, you know, there's more. I'm pretty sure at some point, you know, the uh, part three to the Bob's Fridge story will be complete. 
Oh my god. What what the hell is that animation? Bob's Long Hallway. Somebody made it like an animation to continue the whole st part about, you know, the uh, you know, the bed bunking thing where he was like, you know, literally <laughs> he's like the thumbnail is literally him hanging outside the guy a guy's window looking very creepily. Oh jeez. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck is that video? By a nature bite. Watch this giant cockroach give birth. What the shit? Um, it's called micro. I guess maybe it's because of that. Oh jeez. Oh, I know what this animation... This came out at the time of me filming is eight hours prior. And it's called Markiplier's First Cold Calculated Decision. And I know what story he's talking about. It might have something to do with one of, you know, Markiplier's dad's ex-girlfriends at the time. And, um... <laughs> he had, like, a, some kind of form of a Nerf gun in the car with her. Oh man, and I guess at one at some point he decided to, because I think he did shoot in the car, and you know the mother, you know the girlfriend was like, if you do that one more time, you're gonna be in very big trouble, and Mark is like, apparently he hated her too. Like Mark didn't like her very much, so he decided to do it, shoot her squarely right in between the eyes. <laughs> Oh, God. But I, I think at the end of the day, he said, yeah, that was worth it. <laughs> but man, the balls that he had on for that moment, that's just great. Oh, there's my video again. Because for some reason on YouTube, you know, on YouTube, on, you know, the PlayStation, for some reason, some videos repeat on itself. For some reason, they do that. I have no idea why. Well, whatever, I guess. But anyways, I'm really looking forward to the um, part two, part three to the uh, animation for Bob's Fridge, whenever that will be. I'm still looking forward to it. Seriously, don't rush it. Take your time with it. Try to work on other animations, too. I'm, I'm really enjoying your work so far. I'm really, really enjoying your work so far, so I'm looking forward to it. So, if you like what you saw here, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends, be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad, be sure to check out my Instagram because I make collabs of Markiplier, Jack Septiguy, and myself. I have certain act as a cosplay on there, so go check it out, and be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, JRDL96 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.